Roy Lichtenstein, written and illustrated by Mike Venezia. Roy Lichtenstein was born in New York City in 1923, along with artists Andy Warhol, James Rosenquist, Klaus Oldenburg, and a few others, he helped create pop art. This was one of the brightest and most fun periods of art ever. Roy Lichtenstein's most famous paintings are pictures of ideas he got from bubblegum wrappers, comic books, newspaper ads, and even the yellow pages of the phone book. Using his special sense of humor and artistic skill, Roy Lichtenstein took popular images that people saw every day and made them into works of art. The name pop art came from the word popular. Roy Lichtenstein had always been interested in drawing, science, and the way mechanical things worked. While growing up, he read all kinds of science magazines. Television hadn't been invented yet, so kids listened to radio programs instead. Roy loved listening to the science fiction radio adventures of Flash Gordon. Luckily, Roy lived near his favorite museum, the American Museum of Natural History. It was filled with information about dinosaurs, stars, planets, mummies, bugs, animals, and plants. Roy spent hours exploring the exhibits and great hallways of the museum. During high school, Roy became more interested in art than ever. Since his school didn't offer any art classes, he decided to take lessons on his own. It was during this time that Roy made up his mind to be an artist. Roy studied art in college, and after graduating, he became an art teacher. This allowed him to earn a living while he painted and showed his work. Some of the first paintings he exhibited were abstract versions of American historical events and legends. Roy's early paintings were influenced by such great artists as Pablo Picasso and Ferdinand Leger. Roy liked the way these artists used thick outlines, flat shapes, and solid colors. In a way, many of these artists' paintings had the same qualities as comic book art. Roy was also interested in the most familiar style of art in the 1950s, abstract expressionism. Abstract expressionists like Jackson Pollock and Willem de Kooning used wild brushstrokes, often splattering and dripping paint across their canvases. They did this to show their innermost feelings. It took a long time for people to get used to abstract expressionist art. Once they did though, it seemed like it was the only style of painting anyone cared about. Artists everywhere were painting in the easy to copy style even though Roy Lichtenstein was interested in abstract expressionism, he felt it was being used way too much. Roy started looking for a new and different way to paint. He liked to look at bubblegum wrappers and comic books with his sons. One day, just for fun, he made a large painting of a funny cartoon with Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck in it. Roy was careful to make sure his colors looked flat and smooth without any brush marks. He wanted this painting to look like it was mechanically printed, so it would be exactly the opposite of an abstract expressionist painting. Roy even added little printer dots called Bende dots to give his painting more of a printed, cartoon-like look. When it was finished, Roy was surprised to find that he had made a painting that was exciting and different. Roy Lichtenstein went to work making more paintings of ideas he got from comic books and newspaper ads. He took his painting to a well-known art dealer in New York. Leo Castelli appreciated new ideas in art. He loved the fresh, exciting paintings Roy showed him. Amazingly, at almost the exact same time, a young artist named Andy Warhol also brought Leo some comic book paintings. Leo Castelli suddenly realized that something very important was beginning to happen in the world of art. 
In 1962, Leo Castelli decided to put on a show of Roy Lichtenstein's paintings. It was one of the first pop art exhibits ever. Except for a few artist friends of Roy's, most people hated the show. Other pop artists were beginning to show their work at this time too. Andy Warhol decided to paint soup cans instead of comic book pictures, and Klaus Oldenburg was making giant fast food sculptures. Some art critics felt they were looking at things in pop art exhibits that they were forced to look at in the supermarket. They thought pop art wasn't serious at all and a big waste of time. At first, people thought Roy Lichtenstein just took the comic book images he found and blew them up to surprising sizes. If you look closely at the pictures, he took his ideas from, though, you can see that Roy changed just about everything. The careful changes he made to the composition, color, thickness of lines, talk balloons, and bende dots are what make his paintings important works of art. Bende dots became Roy Lichtenstein's trademark. This dot process was invented by printer Benjamin Day in 1879. In comic books and newspaper comic strips, it is used as an inexpensive way of printing shades and color tints. No one had ever made paintings using bende dots before. In comic books, these dots aren't meant to be noticed, but Roy liked the way they looked and made them an important part of his paintings. It didn't take long for people to start appreciating Roy's art. Serious art critics soon realized that pop paintings and sculptures were as important as any other style of art. Lots of people thought Roy's paintings were just plain fun to look at and easier to understand than abstract expressionist art. As time went on, Roy Lichtenstein began painting different subjects. He made pictures of mirrors, room interiors, and decorations on buildings. He even made paintings of brush strokes. Although he moved away from his comic book art, Roy almost always kept strong black lines, flat, bright colors, and bende dots as part of his paintings. Roy Lichtenstein also made other types of artwork. Some of his fun sculptures look like 3D comic book images that have jumped off the page. He also made prints, ceramics, and huge murals. His mural with blue brush stroke is over six stories high. By the time Roy Lichtenstein died in 1997, he had become one of the world's best loved artists. His carefully painted images of comic book scenes and everyday objects are fun to look at, amusing, and beautiful all at the same time. Roy Lichtenstein showed people how to relax and look at serious art in a whole new way.